Hello beautiful soul and welcome to the Heels Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now, so whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and greatest soul's vibration. With that being said, this is all about the full harvest moon in Pisces for the collective soul sign of Taurus. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Taurine placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that, along with a bunch of wonderful great goodies, is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell i would love to have you as a part of the soul joiner family so let's talk a little bit about the astrology before we tune in and tap on our energies together you want to always make sure you come to these readings with your soul journey journals if you don't have your journal ready then grab a pen and a piece of paper so that you can write down the affirmations, your journaling prompts, and you can also duplicate the spread. And then you can pull clarifying messages with your own personal tarot deck in order to get a little bit more of a deeper meaning of what these readings mean for you. This is an interactive tarot channel where we pull the energies together, but then we clarify them for your highest and greatest vibrational good. Use the affirmations on a daily basis and the journaling prompts for a little bit more of a deeper dive into how to align to more meaning and purpose in your life. So let's look at the energy vibration of the full moon in Pisces at 17 degrees. So that 17 energy is all about the self and it's the energy of the path or your destiny. So it's opening up to alignment with destiny and purpose. The sun energy that we have in Virgo it was ascending at 5.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I am, we were in the Virgo ascending. And when we're looking at the energy of Virgo ascending, we're looking at the energy of work, health, change. It's also an energy of self-improvement, discipline, and getting more of a spiritual practice into place with that Piscean energy. It talks about the energy of fulfillment, increased in psychic abilities and intuition with the Piscean energy, perfecting ideas, getting your stuff together. It's also about getting your health together and working on improvements in your health, diet, exercise, sleep, and breath work. It is also an energy that talks about renewal and commitments, but it's all about helping with that insight into what's best for your future. Pisces for me always represents the energy of the beginning and the end. It's an energy of eternal life. And it talks about karma, results of your past actions being settled at this time. So it's a culminating energy, a time for transformation and renewal. And it's an energy that really talks about your internal social as well as personal conflicts. Pisces is ruled by Neptune and Neptune is connected to the moon retrograde at 24 degrees of Pisces at this time. So both the moon and Neptune are at home in Pisces, which amplifies and intensifies the current energy that we're in. Neptune is asking you, what's your spiritual vision? What is the highest ideal 
for your life, illuminating your path, your purpose, and your destiny. Passion, what it is that you desire, equals your purpose, and it equals your abundance. Passion, per passion power, and purpose. Passion, purpose, and prosperity is the energy that comes through. We have seven planets in retrograde right now. I heard somebody say eight, but I'm illuminated at seven planets that are retrograde at this time. What is really, for me, retrograde talks about an energy of slowing down, an energy of reboot, regeneration, and transformation. So this is really a complete system and a galactic reboot for our personal as well as the collective conscious that's taking place at this time. So let's look at the energy that we have on the table, Taurus. We have balance, spirituality, and practicality with the full moon in Pisces. It's a harvest moon, so it's about the energy of reaping from what you have sown or karmic balance. What you put out into the world comes back positive and negative. The full moon in Pisces is asking for you to call on the energy of forgiveness. So I have invited the goddess Quan Yin to help us to find more compassion, more kindness, and more mercy in our lives. We're opening up to the energy of forgiveness. So this energy of forgiveness, Pisces, is really asking you, be careful that you're not coming at your current situation with your mind made up. This card is a reminder that life is unfolding mystery and you need to go with it. Instead of trying too hard to tick every box of your dreams to come true, fall into your dreams a little bit. It could well be that what's blocking your current manifestation is that you haven't forgiven yourself or someone else. For something that happened in the past, to boost your manifesting powers, forgive yourself and anyone else who needs forgiveness. Your beautiful manifestation for affirmation is, I forgive everyone who needs it in my life. It is done. And let it go, beautiful souls. Let it go. For manifesting ritual for forgiveness, you can add some lavender essential oil to a diffuser or light a lavender candle or incense. Find a comfortable position and close your eyes. Do some cleansing breaths. Call in Quan Yin, the wonderful Chinese goddess of compassion and mercy. Ask Quan Yin for her assistance in clearing any upset so that you can find forgiveness and move on. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and cleanse the energy space and tune in and tap on our energies together. I want you to take a deep breath in and hold for however long it feels comfortable for you. Release that breath. And with releasing that breath, I want you to release any expectation that you have for this reading. Release any tension that you have built up anywhere in your body. And I want you to just to continue to breathe in and breathe out as we tune in and tap on our energies together. And I want you to bring to your mind's eye what it is that you came to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about. But I also want you to be open to whatever messages come through as they are for your highest good and your greatest soul's emanation. So let's go ahead, cleanse the energy space, and jump into your messages. This is going to be loud, three sounds. Infinite Spirit, open the way for clear and concise messages for the collective soul sign of Taurus in the perfect way. 
for Taurus's spiritual purification, enlightenment, elevation, evolution, and healing. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit, for their highest and greatest vibrational good? And so it is. How many cards do we have here? Three messages. For some reason, I am going to take them. So the first message that we have coming out for you is contract, the energy of six. This is an energy of reciprocity, equal give and take. It's an energy of sharing. This energy brings that back, that karmic energy as well for me of Libra. Libra is a soul energy number of six, which talks about balance and it talks about giving and receiving it's a currency you know nothing stagnant can grow in order for things to continue to grow they have to continue to move so there's an energy of a constant need for flow and vibration and growth we have the energy of the world culminating energy which lets me know this is a transformation and a change for you taurus you're moving from one place to a new place this new place is a little bit of an unknown right it's giving you an opportunity to plant some brand new seeds and to create a whole new world for yourself nine is the energy of be or born being is existing in the form that you're currently in, or if there are things that you don't like about yourself, the beautiful thing about our ability is that we always have the choice to change. And so there's being reborn into the highest and greatest version of yourself. I have coined this whole sun in Taurus season, say goodbye to your old self. Your new vibration is awaiting your embrace. The two to the nine symbolizes even more Libra energy. You have a ton of Libra energy coming through in your reading, Taurus. So there's lots of karmic balance that's taking place with this full moon in Pisces. Your final messages, the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. So this is that collective conscious energy and the elevation of the full collective conscious for the highest and greatest vibrational good the other thing that i'm being drawn to here is the energy goddess of kuan yin where it's really asking you to have compassion and forgiveness for others all right beautiful souls let's go ahead and check what messages are coming through for the full moon in pisces for the collective soul sign of taurus full moon in pisces energy for the collective soul sign of taurus what does Taurus need to know, Spirit, for their highest and greatest vibrational good? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. All right. A lot of focus on the current. So let's see what's on your mind. Ooh, Ten of Swords. So this is definitely an energy of some form of betrayal. I'm kind of feeling that's the reason why this justice energy is coming out the way it is. Somebody is asking for justice to be served. This is either you, Taurus, or this is someone that you are connected to. There's a lot of sadness and there's a lot of pain with this betrayal, but really what I'm feeling is a sense of freedom with this world energy. There's something here that's allowing you to reboot, to reset, and to move on. You're leaving behind some old things and you're stepping into this newness. Rather, you know where it's leading you or not. And I'm getting this energy Energy with the blindness of the um, woman here on the contract and the energy of the scales. It's like, even though I'm not completely sure, I'm moving forward with full faith. One of the wonderful things about the Ten of Swords energy is it cannot get no worse than this. It cannot get any worse than this. But it's also a wake up call for you as well, that you know that things have definitely got to change. So what is that? We have the energy that's coming through the star, healing and transformation, having hope for something better, not settling, coming into your own. I love star and Aquarian energy because it allows you to come into your own. That's that energy of opening up to your authenticity, which is all about that Piscean energy where there are things that weren't working in your life, transmute them and change them into what will work in your life. No one ever has to stay stuck and stagnant in any specific place, space, or situation, you always have the power and the capability to change. And it's through your own personal power. That 17 energy, we have the what? Moon in Pisces at 17 degrees, which is awakening and illuminating you to your destiny and your path. Have faith 
that things are transitioning and changing for your highest vibrational good. There's also a change in your circumstances, your surrounding energy as well. Changes in relation in in relation to relationships, right? Exactly. I was getting that energy in relation to relationships to energy for me talks about partnerships, relationships, companionships and dualities. But there's this energy here where it can also bring up oppositions and conflict where people just don't quite see eye to eye. But there's still some kind of hope that you're holding out for the future. So I'm almost getting an energy of hanging on to something that needs to be let go of. For some reason, I'm getting that you're still hoping and hanging on to something that the universe is asking you and pleading with you to let go. So let's see the next three months. Justice cannot make this up. Who else had this in this space? Capricorn. If you're well, it's 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 earth energy. But um, if you're dealing with a Capricorn or you have Capricorn energy in your chart, it is definitely being illuminated here as well that there's some injustice that has happened here in this situation and the universe is bringing in that karmic justice with that new moon i mean full moon in pisces things are being illuminated things are being revealed so that they can be settled transmuted and changed once and for all we have the 11 energy here the 11 added to the energy of the six brings us right back to the energy of 17 at the 17 degrees of the moon rising in pisces so where's your position at this time, Taurus? Look at that. The Ace of Swords. You ready. You know the truth. You're ready for your victory and your success over the situation. You're completely at peace. I'm feeling like however the chips may fall, you are completely at peace with how the chips are falling. And you have the energy of the Archangel Metatron here that is really helping you through this process, which is really beautiful energy. And I love it. There's a lot of clarity you have here and you just want victory and peace. The wonderful thing that I love about the Ace of Swords energy is you're cutting yourself free from all of the toxicity, all of the madness, all of the negativity, all of the heartache and all of the betrayal. And you're going through this cleansing and healing process so that you can have the victory, the clarity, the truth, and the accomplishments that are truly yours by your divine right. What's in your environment? Wish fulfillment. You cannot make this up. This was also in the Capricorn energy as well in the exact same space. So I would have to beg to wonder, Taurus, are you dealing with a Capricorn? Because you both have the exact same cards in the exact same space, or either you have very high Capricorn in your chart as well. But it is also Earth energy, so it just could be what the Earth energies are collectively working through with this Piscean energy. You're working through cutting away the toxic past so that you can awaken to new meaning and purpose in life. That is all about what your wishes and your wish fulfillment is. So let's see what's your hope and fear. Look at this. Your hope and fear here is that it's actually truly over. You don't want it to be over. I'm feeling that energy. You don't really want this partnership to be over. This is the person that you dream about. This is the person that you feel destined to be connected to. This is the person that you truly love. I don't have the temperance energy out here, but I'm totally getting soulmate and twin flame energy. My temperance energy is twin flame energies that are coming together, that are finally on the same vibrational match and page where you can actually work together in a cohesive uh, process without conflicting and, and repelling one another. So there's some hope that this will actually come together for you one day. And that's how this energy is coming through. But the death energy here says that something needs to let be let go. Something needs to die off. And the Ten of Swords energy is a permanent ending to a specific circumstance or situation. But you're holding on. The death card often comes up when there's things in our life that we need to purge, but we refuse to let go. So this is a symbol and an energy from the divine that is saying this here needs to be transmuted and released for your highest and greatest vibrational good outcome energy Taurus for the next six months. Two of Cups, maybe. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something, right? Death follows transformation or transformation follows death. 
there's something here that you need to release. And I'm getting that saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, then it's meant to be. And I'm going to tell you why. Because Capricorn also had this two of cups. Except for that's what was on their mind. So Capricorn's thinking about their love and relationship that they potentially lost. And Taurus is thinking about how they've been betrayed by the person that they consider to be their divine partner and their soulmate. So this is a lot of um, mirroring energy that's going on between Taurus and Capricorn, or it could just be Earth energy at this moment in time. But I'm really feeling a strong connection to a Capricorn or another fellow Earth sign energy here for you, Taurus. But the relationship that's meant to come in will come in. And this is a six month timeline. There's justice that'll be playing out in the next three months and within the next six months, things will be coming together. But sometimes we have to let some things go so that it can come together. What you don't see coming in, beautiful soul, look at that, the wheel of fortune, that things are coming together in perfect timing. Let go and let God, your abundance awaits. All right, look at this. And you got the lovers at the end of the deck to pull it all together. This is definitely about a twin flame soulmate relationship. And it's saying here that in perfect and divine timing, things will come together. But right now you're meant to do what? Virgo energy, work on your own self-improvement, work on your own healing, work on your own wellness. And this will come together in divine and perfect timing. Let's go ahead and look at this contract that you have with this energy. It is definitely a soul contract that you guys are working through to help each other to ascend to the highest and greatest versions of yourself. And you're not doing them a justice by holding on and they're not doing you any service or justice by holding on either. Something needs to fall apart so that it can come together. This card shows a contract in the background, ready to be signed, indicating a committed connection of some sort. This union may be a business deal, the sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. It usually is something that requires a document that's binding, at least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that if a legal action is underway, it is likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities, so remain aware and receptive to what may be coming your way. Your affirmation, beautiful soul, I am attracting wonderful, beneficial connections that support and honor me and bring me great happiness and abundance. I'm going to say that again. I am attracting wonderful, beneficial connections that support and honor me and bring me great happiness and abundance. Your journaling prompts, beautiful soul. What's my deepest fear? What am I hiding? Am I being my authentic self? What is my purpose? Am I living my purpose? What is my spiritual vision? That has been your full moon in Pisces energy, Taurus. Thank you so much for allowing me to read from you. I am truly honored and grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, happiness, blessings, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.